Great to have you back. Thank you for having me. Last time I was an Englishman, though, feeding you ice cream. <laughs> Do you remember? That's right, you look a lot different I now. I look different now. My hair's grown. You know, it was Oliver that interviewed you before, and I think he was in complete awe and, and absolutely in heaven. And we ate ice cream. And you that ate ice cool. cream. Very cool. So it was, I'm sure it was memorable. It was memorable, and um, yeah, I like that he did something unique. So R.I.P.D., your first movie. Yeah. I know you've acted before, but having your first movie be with Jeff Bridges, an Academy Award winner, and you're playing his avatar. Yeah, so the premise to the movie is really funny. Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges, they play cops of the underworld. They're dead. So, yeah, they're dead, <laughs> they're like ghosts. So when they come to Earth, they need disguises. And a lot of the comedy plays out um, within my character and uh, Ryan Reynolds' avatar. Um, who's who an is older. an old Chinese guy, and then um, <laughs> he clearly there's didn't me. choose his avatar. <laughs> right, he's kind of low on the totem pole. Got he it. just joined the RAPD, so he has slim pickings with his avatar. So I read that when you audition for it, that you well, you have to sort of have his mannerisms, and you yeah. have to. So you really studied Jeff Bridges. Did you watch every single movie that he's ever done? Yeah, it sounds really complicated playing <laughs> Jeff Bridges. So um, I watched The Big Lebowski and True Grit for like three days just to like, you know, get the cadence of his voice and his mannerisms. But yeah, it was it was kind of a trip at first how it was going to play out. But um, the script is really funny and I got the sense of humor and what they needed out of me. So Jeff would do a scene and then I would jump in and have to mimic his body language and the whole thing. So it was, for my first movie, it was um, you know, such huge, an honor yeah. to watch him work. It was amazing. And then off camera, did you find, because you, on paper, you would seemingly be very different, but have you found any similarities between him and you? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, a laid back guy. He yeah. lives in California. He loves music. So when we'd get our makeup done together in the morning, he'd always have some good music playing. It's and funny hearing him him getting his makeup done. <laughs> yeah, I mean obviously it's a little it's more a little minimal, different but than, yeah, than yeah. the makeup you were getting done yeah, exactly. for the movie. Yeah. But isn't he a surfer too because I know you're a surfer. Yeah, yeah. So there's definitely kind of that beach laid back California yeah. thing going on and you know I mean he's as cool as you think he'd be. He was great. Was it nerve wracking at all being your first film and working? Yeah, I mean, going into it, you know, Kevin Bacon, Ryan Reynolds, Mary Louise Parker, I mean, yeah. these are like heavy hitters. So at first it was really intimidating thinking about being on set with everybody, but everybody's just really funny too. My first scene was with Kevin Bacon and I had to give myself like a full pep talk. Did you, you know? really? Yeah, because were you in your trailer going, okay, Marissa, go <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, you got your mic on too. So it's like, I don't want the sound guys hearing like me, oh, come on, Marissa, you know, like. <laughs> That's always like a famous thing with actors that right. some actors forget that they have their mic, mic on, on yeah. and they go to the bathroom or they do oh, whatever yeah. at lunch or they talk behind the director's back or they oh, do yeah. something and then they're like, <gasps> you got to be mindful. You yeah. have to be mindful. Yeah. So you were just talking to I was to having like a silent panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> so you did, I know you did some stunts in this film. Yeah, I got hit by a bus. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm, I'm naturally athletic. Yeah. So I was really happy when they asked me to do a stunt because whenever you can kind of play on a strength, especially you know with a new experience, it, it really helped me out. And the whole second unit who was doing all the stunts, they're such pros. They're like the rowdy crew and they're cheering you on. And I knew I was in good hands. It was funny, my stunt double, she was amazing. And she was like, just you know, remember when you hit the bus, like put your hands in front of your face because <laughs> you're hit the windshield. And, and I was like, okay, well, I hope that's a natural reaction, you know, putting my hands in front of my face. Action. Action. Yeah, it was a crazy night shooting, and, you know, the next day I got to say, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. So. <laughs> and it was sort of like the image that people see. It's sort of like you're like a bug in a windshield. Yeah, that's what I was channeling. I'm, I'm a, a bug. bug, I'm a bug. <laughs> <laughs> They really threw you in for your first film, didn't you? Yeah, and it was funny because I think ignorance was bliss doing the stunt because looking back, it was really dangerous, but it's so mental, you can't even think about it. You just have to take the direction, right. really focus and do it, or you can freak yourself out. I feel like there's, and too, I've heard this from a lot of actors, that they want to do their own stunts. Like, they really want to get right. in there and do it. What is that? Yeah. Because it doesn't feel real if you don't, right. you know? And um, I think, you know, when you're playing a character, you're trying to embody the whole thing. So if you can't do part of it, I don't know, you know? You wanna own it all the way. Right, so. and you're such a physical girl too. Yeah. I know you grew up, I know you ride bikes, you're into football, you yeah. surf, you're kind of like, 
a tomboy. What people would say it's a tomboy growing up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was in Woodshop and it was like hot that day and I like wore a tank top and like shorts instead of like baggy jeans and a t-shirt. And then there was this rumor going around that I had a good body and I didn't even know what that meant. And so I went home and I asked my mom and dad, I'm like, what is a good body? Like, what does that mean? And my dad was like, you know, it just means you're healthy, you know, you're athletic and you're, you're it's, it, it, it's a good thing. You're just healthy. Okay. That's a great way to approach it. So wow. coming from a background where you're such a successful model, what do you think the biggest difference is? So I know there's some similarities between modeling and acting, but right. there's also some differences. What would you say is like the biggest similarity and the biggest difference? I think um, modeling definitely helped in the way that you're not nervous in front of a camera and a crew, because obviously a movie set is a big deal and it can be really intimidating. So I wasn't nervous that the camera was there. But with acting, you're trying to forget the cameras there. Right. Modeling, and modeling, you're, like... you're, yeah, you're very aware <laughs> of the cameras there. We always ask people when they come in here, people love to know celebrities, like what trends they're into. Are you a fashion girl that you have that background? Are you into it? Because I've read that you're just in your chucks 99% of the time. Yeah, yeah. And being from Santa Cruz, I mean, that's the uniform is just jeans and a t-shirt and there's not really an opportunity to dress up at all. But that's the great thing about my job is discovering that side of myself yeah. because now I, I do get to be a girly girl and I do love fashion, but in my personal life, I'm a lot more casual and relaxed. Did I read on your Twitter something about you make your own organic whipped body butter or yes, something I like do. that? Because you could have any, I mean, you could have any product in the world that you right. wanted. Why go in that direction and why? So I had a baby. Yes. And during pregnancy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's unbelievable. Well, it's been seven it wasn't months. that long ago. Well, it's been seven months and it just came together in the last couple months. Did you give yourself that time? I gave myself time. I yeah. really, the most important thing for me was that I wanted to be healthy for the baby. And I didn't yeah. know what my body was going to do. And I just wanted it to happen naturally. So if I gained weight, I gained weight and I didn't want to worry about it. Whatever was yeah. healthy is what I wanted. So I'm really happy with where I'm at. So with the products, when I got pregnant, I really tried to like clean out all my lotions and potions and just tried to like really skim down like no no toxic chemicals and, and that kind of a thing. So I just, I don't know, I was on these like mommy blog, you know, hippie websites. And <laughs> I was like, okay, let me make some body butter. And I really like it and I continue to use it now. I didn't get stretch marks and so yeah, it worked for There me. you go. Now everybody's gonna wanna know how to make it. It's because really if you easy. say no stretch marks, people are, women at home are gonna be like, how did she do it? So what's, what goes in it? Cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, and then um, you can use jojoba oil or almond oil and you just melt everything into a double broiler, stick it in the refrigerator for an hour, and then whip it up for 10 minutes so and it looks me, like frosting. You had me until you said double broiler. Anything to do with cooking or a stove freaks me. <laughs> you it lost sounds me there. complicated, <laughs> but it's not. And then you, you know, add some essential oils and make your own little fragrance. It's super easy. So what would be your, because you're an A-list model, you're an A-lister, what would be your advice to somebody breaking into the business now? Because I feel like it's so difficult and there's so many people, and, and acting too. I think the biggest thing is the people around you, your support system and just having people that keep you grounded, that are positive, that is the biggest thing. You know, my family and, you know, the team of people I have at work are just great people. It's positive. It keeps you grounded. It's really important, you know. So, has this given you the bug? Do you want to do more film? Do you want to yeah, dive I mean, more into it? Yeah, I mean, I had such a great experience yeah. on this project and um, it was so fun. And I think it's important, too, to evolve and you know, I'm a mom now, and it's, I think it's really important to make that transition, and so I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And still watching NFL? I know you're oh, a huge 49ers always, fan. Always, Have yeah. you met Colin Kaepernick? No, I haven't. How's that possible? I haven't. Well, I've seen him from a distance. I've been on the field, but, you oh, know. Because you do spokes... Well, I, like, I just, I'm a fan, so yeah. I, you know, went, I go to any Niner game I can, and it's something that I've done with my dad since I was eight years old. Were you heartbroken at the end of the last Super Bowl? I mean, you know, I was, but at the same time, you know, um, the team has been so amazing the last couple years that you're just, I, I, as a fan, you're just happy to see them do so well after, you know, being a little quiet for a decade or so. It was great having you here. Thank you. Thanks Congratulations on the film. Thank you. You look I'm nothing really like excited. Jeff Bridges, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Thank Sorry, you. Jeff. <laughs>